Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we have a quick and easy guide in order to show you how to install a reshade for RDR2. Reshades can give your game a different unique look. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from and they're really simple to set up. So let's get started. So now we're gonna head over to Nexus Mods and then make sure we're on the RDR2 game. We can search for a reshade and there are quite a few to choose from. So you can have a good time trying out new ones and seeing which one you like the best. I'm gonna try out Rogue Cinematic Reshade for this example. So now that we're on the mod page, reshades require another program to install. Usually they'll have the website in the requirements tab, which is located in this area. But on this mod page, they left us the website link instead. So we need to go to reshade.me. The website should look something like this. So we're gonna press the download button. And then at the bottom of the page, we're going to download reshade 6.0.1. Now, depending on the time you're watching this video, it could be a newer version, but that's okay. We're gonna click this first download link and then choose a location to save this exe. Your download should initiate and then we'll head back to the mod page. One of the great things about reshades is that it typically doesn't need any mods for you to download. So if you just want to make your game look better, you don't need to download any mods for the game. You can just download a reshade and play. So on the mod page, we're going to hit the file tab and then we're going to pick the reshade that we want. I'm going to go with the standard version. And then once you press that download button, your reshade file should be downloaded. Now we're going to find our Red Dead Redemption 2 game folder and click inside of it. Now with the reshade program we installed, we're going to double click inside of it. You'll have a program window pop up and you need to find the game directory in which your RDR2 is installed. So since I have a bunch of different versions of RDR2 installed, I'm going to hit the browse button to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to navigate to my game folder, find my RDR2.exe, and then press open. We've selected our game, so we can go ahead and click next. And now depending on the game you're playing, this could totally be different. Since we have mods installed and we're running on the Vulkan graphics API setting, we're going to choose the Vulkan setting. We're going to press next and your screen may turn black for a bit, asking for permission to change game files. You can press yes on that. And now we're on the install effects screen. For this, we're going to uncheck all and then you're going to press the button again to check all. So all of these effects should be checked. We're going to go ahead and press next and the reshade is going to work its magic. You can see new reshade files are being installed into the game directory. And then once you see the green check mark, you can go ahead and press finish. Now we're going to open up our reshade zip file. And in this instance, we have two different files we can choose. We're going to choose the standard version. And all you're simply doing is dragging and dropping it directly into your game folder. So you should see your RDR2 EXE in this folder. So now we have reshade successfully installed. We can go ahead and boot up the game. Now, if you installed it correctly, you'll see a reshade bar at the top of the screen. And reshade is telling you to press the home key in order to open up the menu. So once you do press the home key, you'll see that the rockstar menu pops up as well. If we want to fix that, you can hold your function key down and then hold your home key down at the same time. Once you release it, rockstar menu won't pop up. Now that the reshade menu has popped up, we're going to press continue, press continue again, and then in the reshade preset box, click on it and then scroll down until you find that any file you dragged inside the game directory. Once you found it, click on it and then press select. This will turn the reshade on. Now to see the difference, we're going to go to the settings tab and we're going to make an effect toggle key. I'm going to bind this to F10 as an example. We're going to go back to the home tab and then at the bottom, we're going to press continue and then finish. You can press escape to get out of the reshade menu. And now we have our reshade in full effect. So if we toggle it on and off with our new hotkey, we can really see the difference. And there's a bunch of different reshades you can choose from. And for some reshade presets, you can actually have a few different ones installed at the same time. You can swap between them. So I just put in the RDR Enhance V2 any file. And if we select that, our game will look different again. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial to help you install Reshade for Red Dead Redemption 2. We'll be back again with even more tutorials and showcases. So don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out. Until then though, we'll see ya.